Well, howdy, YouTube. Uh, this is Farmer Ross, and I needed to start documenting the progress here on the land on YouTube besides Facebook because Facebook, I don't know if it's easy to search the videos in the past, and I really want a well documented chronology, chronological order of what we're doing here. So starting from the beginning, this is a three acre piece of land. My name is Ross from Misty Moon Farms and we have been growing for the past three and a half years in a greenhouse in Argyle, about 15 minutes away from where I am right now. And it's been going great. We've been growing organically and building the soil and using uh, neem oil and orange oil and cayenne and and uh, insecticidal soaps and uh, things like that for pest management no animals and it's been great and then i really wanted to have some field and i really wanted to be able to grow free of needing to be a show greenhouse i wanted to get more into permaculture and biodynamic farming and regenerative regenerative agriculture so I got this three acre piece of property uh, about five minutes away from my house in Denton, Texas. And it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece of property. It's next to a rather busy street you can see back there, uh, which is called University Drive. And we are inside the city limits just barely. So we got to deal with uh, all of the permitting and dealing with the city, which has been quite an adventure in and of itself. Um, we are, like I said, we're going to be growing biodynamics and permaculture out here. So way more than organic. And we're going to have chickens. We're going to have goats. And we already have bees out here. That's the hive right there. And we're going to be building this property up. It's, it's been used for horses for the past 10 years. When we got here, it was totally junked out. There was just trash everywhere and everything was overgrown. It was not kept at all. And we have spent a lot of energy and time to make sure everything looks really nice again. We, we've uh, cleared out some of the underbrush. We've picked up all the trash. We've taken trailers to the dump just filled with complete trash and it's clean the energy out we've been doing a ton of ceremony so um you could say i'm a spiritual practitioner and i participate in many different kinds of ceremonies from several different kinds of lineages and we do ceremony out here you can see they got Tibetan prayer flags we do ceremony out here to keep ourselves in a good space uh, and bring that enlightenment out into the world through the farming that we do, uh, as well as pacifying the spirits of the land, the ancestors, things like that. So we're incorporating spirituality into biodynamics and permaculture as well, which is something that I'm personally very proud of and excited about to bring a ceremonial spiritual aspect to the farming. Um, spiritual inside of ourselves and not just spiritual outside of ourselves so having said all that we're gonna show you around the property some right now I'm in uh, one of our ceremonial spaces we do a ceremony called Ruo Song Chode out here it's a Tibetan uh, Buddhist ceremony um, it's it's, uh, it's a beautiful ceremony filled with self-forgiveness and uh, giveaways so spiritual purification given to us by Lama Rangbar Omahung. And uh, here's a field. So we walk in, I don't know how long I can make this video, but I'm having a lot of fun here. And so I'm feeling so inspired today. I've just been watching video after video of farm tours on permaculture and biodynamics and how other farmers are doing it and just inspired to see how we can bring all those different concepts here to this land over the next several years. I'm excited that it's gonna be a long-term project. This is gonna be a, a multi-year. We have our lease is six years, but it'll probably get renewed for more. And then eventually we'll get our own land. So we'll be out there for many, many years. All right, so this is the busy street I told you about. Not so busy now. Here's a little sign. We got a farm stand to keep the income going, so uh, money's always important in projects in this economy. So we walk up, here's the entrance, drive in, and then to the left here, 
We have big open field. To the back, we have that grove of trees and then more groves of trees. And then to the right here, we have this beautiful space as well in the shed and the bees are back there. So it's gonna take a lot of work. We've added compost uh, to the land. We're gonna be getting more compost. We're gonna be composting all winter. It's currently mid-October here in Texas, North Texas, beautiful country. And we're gonna be composting all winter so that when spring comes in February and March, we're gonna be ready to go. So I'm gonna be building infrastructure all winter. I'm gonna be making videos of that, tons of videos on that, uh, documenting the process, showing how we do it from scratch, make it easy if anyone else wants to see how we did it, um, one way to do it. You'll be able to watch all of our videos. I'm gonna keep things simple. I'm a pretty simple, uh, I'd like to say lazy guy, but that's not really that true. Um, so we're gonna keep everything simplistic, you know, not spend a lot of money. We got a well out here that cost a lot of money as our water source. It just got installed today and it's pumping water, which was pretty cool. Uh, we've got electricity out here. Um, and yeah, we developed this from a completely raw piece of land. And yeah. So we're gonna make videos about all the uh, progress as time goes on. We're gonna, we're gonna have fruit trees, probably persimmons, easy to grow things, persimmons, plums, figs, uh, probably pears, and hopefully some mulberry trees. We'll be planting those in January in about two months time. Um, that's when you plant them and then they'll grow, probably won't get production off them for, you know, maybe two years or something. Uh, depending on the plant, but we'll be starting not from seed, from cutlings, so they'll grow faster at least. And yeah, we'll be building a cooler out here, infrastructure for the farm. We're going to get a tool shed. We're going to have uh, water storage tanks. We're going to have uh, a little office area. And the chickens and goats are going to need coops and housings and everything. So it's really exciting. I'm uh, on fire with this project here to bring spirituality and farming to the masses, to the people, and documenting and sharing that online is such a great opportunity to make it accessible for people if they can't drive here or for whatever reason. You can watch this, these YouTube videos in your own time. And many years to come, you'll be able to watch them years down the line. And see where we all started with this video. Uh, again, I feel like I'm in the ceremony space. I feel like the ceremonies have been such an important part of what I'm doing here. It's kept me focused. I feel when you're getting more clear inside yourself, it makes it possible for the external to rearrange itself so that your path is clear, that your path is unobstructed. And so we're taking care of those obstructions in ourselves, our blocks that are limiting us from expanding, from being the presence that we desire to be here on the earth, whether you're farming or a business guy or an artist or what have you so aho uh -oh. all right wishing you all the best and we'll keep you updated many 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 more videos to come